Okay, now we got all the trim in. We put these top pads on. If you've never seen these before, this is pretty easy. You just, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory. Staple one end down, staple the other end to the front up here. And it's got uh, like foam rubber inside. So, you know, you staple it down where you put the tack strips. Okay, now we're putting the back window in. And just to let you know, even a professional can mess up at this. The back window is like one of the uh, the the first things that goes on. It's the first piece that goes on on the top. Okay, so I put this top on, and like a bonehead, I didn't pull this bar. You got to pull this bar back and make sure your distance from from the rear bow to the bottom is the correct uh, length there. So I put it on and forgot to pull it tight. So I'm off. You can see the zipper right here. So now we're going to take all these staples out, pull it up, and, and make it fit right. So anyway, uh, even professionals make mistakes. So <laughs> just be prepared and uh, you know check it twice and do it once. Okay, as you can see, we've got the back glass on there. It's actually plastic, but anyway, it's on there. Uh, we raised it up uh, a good inch. Make sure everything was lined up. We've already started putting the top on. Didn't show everything because I can't reveal all of my secrets. Now we're going over where all these staples are, and this is a, a fine product called Hydem. It uh, you staple it on down here, and then this whole thing folds over like this, and it hides all the staples. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, this is going around the outside edge uh, to hide all the staples. We'll be done with that in just a minute. And then we can pull the front of it up and secure the secure the front. And then we'll close this seam up here and put the same type of stuff right up here over this seam to make it look pretty. Okay, we're all done with the trim up here. Looks all nice and tidy now. Everything is up there. Now what we're doing is we're putting these rubber strips back in here. And I tell you, sometimes finding the holes is a hard task. Use an ice pick or something like that. Just make sure you don't go through and poke through the top. Okay, this one has some old piece still left here, so we're taking that out. And uh, I want to finish putting all the rubbers on. Pretty soon this is going to be a finished top.